let's have a look at uh, another relation. Uh, let's call the identity relation. Now, the key point here is that uh, 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 when we consider a relation uh, of a set with itself, uh, if uh, the relation is, such, is in such a manner that uh, the ordered pairs are such that uh, the element is pairing up with its itself only, then uh, we, we are dealing with a with an identity relation. It simply means that for a given set of uh, A, the relation I A is equal to, is equal to the ordered pair A A such that A is an element of set A. On uh, the set A is called identity relation. Now the as I already told, the key point is that uh, uh, here the ordered pairs are such that uh, every element of that set, every element of the uh, set, uh, <coughs> the correlation product of the set uh, uh, is in such a manner that the pairing is uh, is related to the element of the uh, particular ordered pair is related to itself only. Uh, that's so. Uh, uh, take a, a simple example uh, so that we can understand the concept and uh, uh, now <clears throat> let's take a set A consisting of uh, the elements or uh, the natural numbers 7, 8, 9 and uh, if the ordered pairs of uh, the relation uh, of that set on itself uh, is such that uh, we can see that elements are paired up with itself only that is uh, in this particular case as there are three elements <coughs> we have three ordered pairs at 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9 you don't have any combinations like 7, 8 or 8, 9 or 9, 8 uh, such, such a thing is not coming up so uh, it uh, simply means that uh, the element uh, it's pairing up with itself only so so only, only such cases uh, such cases of a relation can be called an identity uh, relation thank you